The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. For problem number four, we need to determine the quadrant of an angle based on some information that we're given. So some of these are given in a little bit tricky formats that need to be simplified first. So the first piece of information is that tangent of pi over 2 minus theta is less than 0. Alright, so this is given to us for sure. And this can help us figure out in which quadrant the angle could be. Because we, first of all, need to simplify what tangent of pi over 2 minus theta means. But once we have that, we know that this is supposed to be negative. So that will tell us something about the quadrants. So keep in mind, pi over 2 minus theta means the complementary angle. Uh, remember, because pi over 2 is like 90. So 90 minus an angle would be its complementary angle. So the tangent of a complementary angle is the same thing as the cotangent of that angle. So remember, sine and cosine are equal of complementary angles, so are secant and cosecant, and tangent and cotangent. So really, this is just saying cotangent of theta is negative. So we just need to think about our uh, quadrants and what is positive where. We have A, S, T, C. This is a inverse of tangent, cotangent, or a reciprocal, sorry, of tangent, but it follows the same positive and negative conventions. So if this is negative, we could only be in quadrants 2 or 4, because tangent and cotangent would be positive in quadrants 1 and 3. Okay, so the other piece of information we have is that secant secant of negative theta is negative. So now we just need to think about what that means. Now secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Now remember that cosine is an even function, meaning that if you take cosine of a negative angle or a positive angle of the same value, you get the exact same thing. So if you did 1 over that, negative or positive, and they were the same thing, that's still the same thing. So this is really just saying secant of theta is less than zero. And if secant is negative, remember, these are for our standard functions, but it works for the reciprocals too. So that means cosine would be negative. The only way that could work is right there, because cosine is positive here. We only had these two options in the first place because of this one. But out of these two, if our secant and therefore our cosine has to be negative, the only one that could work there is quadrant 2. So that's the only place where cotangent is negative and secant is negative, is in quadrant 2. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.